Hi, welcome to Kelsey Ed, and in this video series, we're going to be making a two player racing game. There's multiple videos in the series, so please stay tuned for all of them as this game develops into some pretty interesting and fun coding. Enjoy! So, by the end of this video, you're going to have been able to create this background track, two animated sprites and a sprite for the start screen. I've also added in a sprite for decoration. If you already feel confident to get to this stage and you know how to do these things, then you might just want to skip straight to video two where we begin coding the game. Okay, so here we are in the home page for Scratch in the web browser, and we're going to go straight to create to make a new game. I'm going to give it a meaningful file name, so mine will be called Racing Car Game. And you might choose some other theme that you would prefer. I'm going to now delete the sprite that began and start with my own new sprite. So I'm going to choose a sprite from the library down here. And you can use the search feature to find the character that you want. Now I'm going to take a convertible, you don't have to use a car, you could use anything. You could use an animal, you could use objects, underwater, anything. So here's my car, he's currently size 100. We'll bring him down in size later, but first of all, I'm going to edit his costume. So here in the costumes tab, you can see the different parts of the costume will highlight as I move my cursor over them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create animation by duplicating the costume and changing it a little each time. So if I duplicate this, and I'm going to do it four times for four different costumes. So four costumes. The first costume will stay the same. In the second costume, the wheels are going to turn. So I'm just going to select from the bottom and highlight only the objects in the wheel and then I'm going to turn it a quarter of a turn and then I'll do the exact same thing on this wheel one quarter of a turn then go to your next costume and this time I'm going to go a half of a turn so half turn that and then this last one would be three quarters of a turn. Now you saw how that selected the whole car then. It's really easy to accidentally select everything which is why I'm just going very small skinny up like that. Okay so this last one we need to turn one, two, three quarters of the way around or you could just go a quarter in the opposite direction so that would be the same effect. Now if I move through these costumes with my mouse you're going to see the wheels are moving okay and we could test that out by putting some code onto here. So I'm going to the code tab and actually down in my backpack I always keep this script because it's just super useful and um, this is just a small animation script and all it does is when the program is running it will forever repeat these two blocks of code which is going to switch to the next costume and then wait for half a second so let's watch that go now can you see his wheels are turning so now we have an animated character but we're not done so I would also like to add in a little something extra so I'm going to zoom out again and move to the back of the car here and zoom myself in and actually what I want to create is um, an exhaust so some smoke to come out of the back of the car so this is obviously much too thick we're going to bring this down maybe to a three I always say just test it and see how it looks I think three is good and then obviously we want a different color because it's going to be like gray smoke so if you take your saturation right down you can get into the gray scale here and then all I'm going to do is just draw, first of all, like a small cloud and then next a kind of slightly bigger cloud and then a third cloud. So it's just going to look kind of like smoke and maybe like a line out here. Okay, so here's my smoke and I want to make it look 
like the smoke is animating in and out. So just from drawing this one, you can see it popping out here once. Now I want it to also pop out on the third one. So I'm going to select just this bit of object, use the copy option up here, move to this costume and paste. So now I have a second exhaust. So actually I might move it across just a little bit. So here's my exhaust coming out. You can add any detail that you want, but this is a really nice little bit of uh, extra animation to make it more interesting. So now that we've got one character, we also want to have a second character because we're going to create a two player game. So actually the fastest and easiest way to do this would just be to duplicate the character that we already have. If I right click it and then select duplicate, now I've got two of the same car, but I can really easily just change the names on these. So for example, this could now become player two, not player 23. That would be a lot of programming. Um, onto this one, player one. So I'll just rename each of those so I know the difference. And then, but do you notice that both of them have got the smoke? Okay, this player one, the one we made, the script is running and the smoke is showing. It's copied everything. So if I go to player two, it actually also has copied that code too. It's just not running right now. But if I click it, this two will start to animate. Okay, so I can get them both animating. Nice. So I obviously don't want two green cars. That's going to be a bit confusing. So I'm now going to change player two a little bit. So I'm just going to go to this first one, pick a color that I like. I'm going to bring the saturation back up because I like slightly brighter colors. Ooh, bright pink, red. Let's go with red. So I'm just going to use my normal fill and all I'm going to do is hover over here, drop it, come to this one, drop it. Now you may notice there is some green underneath. We're also going to change that. But I notice on this card that the green is a little darker than the main color. So before I do, I'm just going to change this. I'm going to bring it down a little bit darker. And then same thing, go through and fill each of the costumes. So now I've got a red car and a green car. Excellent. So we've got two animating characters. We're also going to need somewhere for them to drive. So the next thing we need is a backdrop. So you could draw your own sprite from the paint. That would be really easy. You just choose um, a box with maybe some green fill for some grass. And we'll just fill the whole screen. And then you could just create a simple oval uh, shape, maybe with some gray. Bit more gray, more like that. That looks pretty good. So I'll just draw out this oval like this, make myself a little bit of a racetrack. Pull this one down, and then our green. And we're going to fill another oval just inside this one, and probably like a little more sort of this shape. I mean, you can make some parts of the track quite difficult by making it very skinny um, or you can make it more even, but we could make a basic sort of racetrack look like that. But I would much prefer to make it more complicated. And so I'm actually going to upload my own backdrop from file. So I got a couple of different ones uh, here. Um, I'm going to go with this one because I just think it's really interesting and makes for a slightly more difficult game. But what you can see is that there are, oops, undo that. What you can see, make sure you're on selection. You can see that this already has quite a bit of design on it. Um, there's already some features. So it's a little smaller than my screen also. So I'm highlighting around this using the selecting tool and I'm just gonna resize this. Really simple. So I've resized it. Now it fills my screen a lot better. And I want to get rid of these parts because I'm going to create my own. So I'm just going to use a normal rectangle. Uh, as per usual, use your color picker. Go and get the color that you need. 
and just draw the shape where you need it. So I'm just going to draw over the top of this bit like that. And then I'm hiding all of this and I can drag it across, no problem. And you can do that across. I mean, you could make one big piece that goes across the background. That would be okay. Um, you could also just fill in like this and resize the boxes to fit. It really depends on the background you've got. Mine's a little bit difficult to do as one big fill behind because I actually want to cover up some of the stuff that's written on the stage. So for me, it's easier to just make them like this. So now just by using some simple boxes, I've hidden all of that detail. I also want to get rid of this. I'm not keen on that. I'm going to make my own checkered flag. So I'm just going to zoom in and over here, really simple rectangle again. And this time I'll do black because it's a black track. So what I'm going to do is make a simple box over this and pull it down, resize it to fit, and I've hidden that section too. All right, so I want to copy this line also. So I'm going to zoom in one more time to get close, and you can actually see it's two different colored lines. Uh, I'm going to use the line tool, get my color picker again, and it's really good because it'll magnify it for you. I'm going to start with the light gray line. Um, now my paintbrush is looking a lot bigger than this right now. So we need to bring the paintbrush down to a size that looks like they match much better. That's probably a two. And then now I'm just going to draw that line right across from here. Done. Okay, one more line. This time we're going to color pick for the darker color of the two. There we go. Hopefully it's the correct size already and I will just draw my line. Done. So now I've got a background track and I've got two cars, although my cars are a little bit big, but that's okay. We can just move them up to here and resize them. So I click on this one, go to the resize. I'm going to go with 30. Although that actually might be a little bit too small. Should we try 40? Let's see, yeah, 40 looks a little bit better actually. So changing this to 40. There we go, and I've got two cars here. Now I also probably will want to have um, a finish and start line. So I'm actually just gonna make one more sprite. I'm gonna draw this sprite myself and it's gonna be very simple, just a square. Um, I would like to fill it of white, so it's just going to be a white square with a white outline, and I'm just going to draw it right here, and that's a little bigger than we need it. Now the great thing is, I want this to be my finish line, so it's going to go about here. I could just drag it over to the track, get it round about the right place, and then resizing from here, I can see the change happen here. So I'm just going to keep moving it a little bit to the size I want, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll make it a little bit more skinny. And then on the top of it, I'm gonna write in red letters, start. In fact, I might make it all capital, start. How's that? Okay, and then I'm gonna rotate that around, although actually probably makes more sense to face this way. Drag it over the top, and now I have a starting line, although that seems a little bit big. So if I resize it, you don't resize by changing up here the size of the text. You just resize the sprite and the text changes with it. So we can resize it to fit in just nicely there. And actually, I feel like maybe, yeah, maybe that's okay. Maybe the rectangle behind could be a tiny bit smaller. It's a little more skinny. Okay, I like the look of that. And then I'm just gonna move the sprite perfectly to where I want it. And now I have a starting line. And of course you can add in other extra details as well. So um, I have some other sprites that I saved too. So I have like this one, which is a little checkered fag. <laughs> Not that little, um, but we can reduce that down. So let's put that down to 40 maybe and see how he feels. Still a little big. Um, 
Okay, great. And then I could put my checky flag up here even if I want, right by my start line. So we know that's the start of the race, or even just over here a little bit. And then let's look at that on the full screen. It's looking pretty good. We've got a little bit of black over here that we might want to get rid of, but equally you could use this section for displaying things. So let's see about that in the future. But that's our basic setup um, for two sprites, a finish line and a background. So next we need to program onto video number two.